course, it wouldn't be a controversy without Amanda Wynn Lee. Uh, well, I guess it, would, it wouldn't be a, a life event without Amanda Wynn Lee trying to make what it about hell? her somehow. So Western voice actress applauds Ukraine invasion. Amanda Wynn Lee, a Western voice actor likely known for doing work for Evangelion, has courted controversy over a series of tweets thanking Russian leader Vladimir Putin for invading Ukraine, as it could help the indecipherable Joe Biden and his catastrophically low approval rates to secure re-election. And in her words, quote, anything that keeps Trump out of the White House, I embrace. If you say so. The Western Barbarian's openness to violence should perhaps not prove too sur too surprising, as she, like many voice actors, joined in slandering Vic Mignogna as a man who abuses his fans despite the lack of actual evidence, and insisted others should, quote, believe women. So as she says, in one way, Putin did us a favor. Historically, every president running for re-election during a war has won. Fuck you, I'm serious. Anything that keeps Trump out of the White House, I embrace. Whiny bitches clutching their pearls and trying to police my tone will be blocked. If Trump gets, <laughs> if Trump gets back in office, we'll have the casualties from the war and the genocide of the LGBTQIA people. I'm not effing kidding. Still um, unaware of the documented evidence of this. Uh, <laughs> When my father and son both had cancer at the time, I desperately clung to any bit of silver lining to get me through. It's how I process trauma, and I don't give a fuck what you think of my process. Yeah, so uh, weird, she's... Right? <laughs> to pearl-clutching, wilting lilies, I am legit terrified that Trump may get back in office. This takes him out of the equation of shit that must be dealt with right fucking now. In no way, shape, or form do I endorse war. Jesus, y'all are so desperate to be offended by something. Clearly you do. Clearly so you I just, endorse I, war if it means Trump doesn't get back in office. I just want to just, have yeah. these in my back pocket as tweets that didn't age well when America gets involved in the war. Yeah. And, and it goes even worse than the Afghanistan withdrawal. I just, I, I, I very, Dan, I'm so sorry that you're in the military and that uh, you will definitely be on the front lines reporting from <laughs> from the ukraine <laughs> i yeah. don't know what happened to make this the case but something was in the fucking water in 2016 that just made all of these people have this like tr trump derangement syndrome i don't i i don't know if it was like it was the hypno toad on the tv yeah, I've I've no clue, but for whatever reason, they've gone crazy. Like, I I don't did we cover it on here the whole um, G4 TV thing with Adam Sessler and how he's like a nut now, um, and saying Dude, that they are all, his, all insane. A Republican family members need to die. Like Whoa. what? Yeah, he's on Twitter saying that. Like, oh, I'd I'd so, be glad so if they all died. It wasn't something in the water. It was CERN. It was the Large Hadron Collider uh, split the timelines again. And unfortunately, we we got all the lefties from the insane universe got swapped with the reasonable people that we used to have. <laughs> the almost reasonable people, I mean. Anyway, she says, okay, y'all, I fucked up. I never should have used the word embraced. It was thoughtless of me. After all, the shit going on in Texas with trans kids, I was angry. My bad. Forgive me or don't. I don't give a fuck. 